so yeah back here again and today we'll be talking about the 92nd Academy Award nominees and how Joker had ranked all above them to be the most nominated out of this year like it got 11 nominations so let's just go over the nominations it got for best picture best director best actor best adapted screenplay we get also got best original score we got best sound editing we got best sound mixing we got best cinematography we got best makeup and hairstyling best costume design and best film editing this is incredible like the editing and technical stuff I didn't even know Joker would get nominated for that stuff that's incredible how they able to sweep in 11 nominations despite all the backlash from the critics and everyone trying to put a negative spin on this film it is incredible how they able to get a billion dollars rank in a ton of money be the most profitable comic film and one of the most profitable films ever made and having now received all these Oscar nominations is just proving everybody wrong nobody cares about the political correctness of certain things if it has a story to tell people are going to go see it and that's what Joker did and it's going to get a lot of people to get into other movies like Joker maybe smaller movies with a lot of story and they're gonna get much more attention nowadays unlike before they have been forgotten by a lot of people except probably the Academy Awards but we also got a few good gems in there like Avengers Endgame for visual effects we also got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood we got 1917 which I'm rooting for best cinematography. I'm sorry, Joker, but I think 1917 got the best cinematography I've seen in a long time. We got The Irishman for Martin Scorsese, best director and best picture. So it's going to be tough competition there. We got Parasite, which I haven't seen yet, but I heard really good things about. And I think it's going to be the movie to win the best international film award. We got Leonardo DiCaprio and Adam Driver in there going up against Joaquin Phoenix. I think Joaquin Phoenix will go home with the award because that's the performance everybody was talking about. I love Adam Driver in Marriage Story. And Leonardo DiCaprio is a great actor. But to be honest, this last year, 2019, belonged to Joaquin Phoenix. So it's going to go to him in my opinion. Best Supporting Actor, we got Anthony Hopkins, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, Brad Pitt. I think Brad Pitt will go home again while Joe Pesci and Al Pacino, while great, are going to like have like a Golden Globe thing where Brad Pitt wins. And yeah, he was really good in the movie too. Supporting Actress, we got Margaret Robbie. We got Laura Dern from Marriage Story. Scarlett Johansson. The interesting thing about Scarlett Johansson is that she also got the Best Actress Award for Marriage Story. For Supporting Actress, she also got for Jojo Rabbit. This is interesting. She's, she might get go home with two awards, it seems like. I think she's going to go home with the Best Actress. She's really good at Marriage Story. But it's going to be really impressive if she's going to go home with two Academy Awards. That's going to be impressive. So, Best Adapted Screenplay, The Irishman and Jojo Rabbit. I think Joker might go home with it. Best Original Screenplay. I'm going to go with uh, maybe Knives Out, mostly because Ryan Johnson has like the bigger name and a lot of people like to put a positive spin on him. But he did a good job writing the movie overall, and I think he could deserve it. But in my opinion, if there's one movie that's more deserving on here, it will be Marriage Story. The writing is heartbreaking in that movie, and it is deserving of an award, but I think it's going to go Knives Out, so it could go either way. Best Animated Feature Film is going to be Toy Story 4, in my opinion. That is probably my favorite animated movie last year, and it is a as well a Disney film and is getting high praises from everybody everything else uh, we heard of before maybe How to Train Your Dragon could 
pull it off, but I don't think it will. I think it's going to go to Toy Story 4 and it's going to bring back the streak of Disney movies winning the best animated feature. But overall, this is not a bad list. Best original score, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, and The Rise of Skywalker. That's good. Rise of Skywalker also got best sound editing. And also, it got best, um, I think, best visual effects. Yeah, it got best visual effects. With The Lion King in 1917, The Irishman, and Endgame. So, this is a great list of movies. I am excited about this. I mean... A lot of these movies are actually great. There have been a lot of great movies last year. And I'm really excited to see how things are going to turn out in the Oscars. I just think Joker's going to win all the awards. But I think it's going to win the most awards that night. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. But Joker had the best chance at winning the most awards here. It's the most talked about movie of the year. It is the most popular. It's considered the best by many people. And so I think it's the... The award ceremonies are going to pay a lot of tribute to Joker this year. So I'm really excited to see how things turn out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.